Test, test. One, two, seven. Are you ready for backpacking season? Is there gear items that you haven't seen in months? Items that haven't seen the light of day? It's time to check out all your backpacking stuff and get them ready. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a checklist and things to start thinking about to get ready for this backpacking season. What is going on, friends? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. If you're into backpacking, hiking, outdoor lifestyle, if you're into the gear that's associated with that as well, then you have found your people. Gear maintenance, gear repair, gear replacements. These are the things that you wanna start thinking about, such as socks. I use Darn Tough socks. They've always worked really, really well for me. They're wool socks, uh, high quality. They're expensive though. What I like about them is they have a lifetime warranty. What does that mean? That means if you wear your socks out like these, these have got a few seasons on them. They're super thin. There's a hole about to wear in the heel here. Darn Tough will let you send these in and they will replace them and send you a new pair. I think you just have to pay for shipping. So now is the time to start looking at these kinds of things and replacing them. These are a little bit newer. These have a couple seasons left. These are pretty much dead. Also, as far as repair goes, look at your trekking poles. Is it time to get new tips? Are those wearing out? Do the baskets need to be replaced? Are they cracked? Are they dented? Are they bent? Who knows? Look at your trekking poles now. A lot of trekking pole companies like Lakey and uh, maybe Black Diamond or something, you can buy replacement tips and things. My particular trekking poles, they're made by Cascade Mountain Tech. It's an Amazon brand. These are carbon. These things are awesome and they're like 70 bucks. Uh, they don't sell replacement things for this. So if this breaks, you just have to buy a new one. If it wears out, you just have to buy a new one. Also, I have Gorilla Tape on each of these trekking poles just in case. So if you're out of Gorilla Tape on your trekking poles, time to re-Gorilla your tape. Start looking at your sleeping pads. Anything that's inflatable, inflate them. Make sure there's no slow leaks, pinholes, rips, tears. Find those now, replace those now. And that also goes for hammock tarps, rain flies. It goes for tents and tent rain flies. Set those up, make sure that those are sealed. Do you need to re-waterproof them? Do you need to reseal the seams? Clothing items also need to be looked at. Here's a puffy jacket by Enlightened Equipment. I use this for, for fall and spring. Are there holes in this? Are there rips and tears from thorns and brambles, uh, fire embers? Now's the time to start patching these up as well. Water bottles. I typically use the Smart Water Life water bottles, and I use these for a long time. I usually get about a season's worth. Um, they'll probably go much longer, but it just feels weird using these bottles for that long. And if you're like me and you use a water filtration system that comes with a bag, this is the Katadin, Katadine, Katadin Bee Free System. Fill this bag up with water. Make sure it has no leaks. If you have the Kanak water bag, any of the Sawyer bags, make sure that those bags are sealed. And talking about water, your water filters. A lot of you have been storing this for the last couple of months, and this thing is dry as a bone. Take this and soak it in water for 30 minutes. Not tap water, use distilled water or demineralized water. Get those fibers soaked, run some water through it to make sure that it's working well and it's actually flowing properly. What you don't want is to bring a dry filter with you out on trail for the first time and realize it doesn't work because it hasn't been treated. These fibers need to be wet for them to flow and filter properly. And if you haven't done that, you know who you are. Hey, that guy on YouTube's an idiot moment. Electronics, little things. Like this is a little thermometer by Thermoworks. I think it's called the Thermodrop. I just like having information on what the temperatures are. Check the batteries on this. Do you need a new battery for the season? The batteries on this cost nothing and it should have last you for a couple of seasons. They have little lanterns that take batteries, double A's, triple A's. Put new batteries in them. Are they rechargeable like mine are? Put a charge on them. Make sure that those are good. Like things like this will last a few trips, a few nights. So go ahead and charge these up. And that also includes your battery packs to charge these up. Make sure your electronics are in good working order and will charge or have fresh batteries. And on a side note regarding electronics, if you use apps, navigation apps like Avenza, Gaia, these kinds of things, now, now is the time to start looking at updating those apps. 
making sure that your subscriptions are paid up, making sure all the maps that you're using are updated as well. Cook kits. Some of you use, actually a lot of you use, a propane stove, a canister stove. Something like a Pocket Rocket 2 or a BRS or a Whisperlite or a DeSoto, stoves like that, that use these isobutane canisters. If you're like me, you got a lot of these lying around. This one's full, this one's uh, maybe a quarter full, this one's even less. So you have a bunch of these partially filled canisters. It's time to start using them right away, or better yet, start consolidating them. They do make an adapter that allows you to put the fuel in here and put it in here so you can start consolidating a lot of these cans. I haven't tried this personally. It's something I'm going to do here shortly. I think Jeremiah Stringer, Jeremiah Stringer Hikes has a video using that thing. So I'll, I'll put that video down in the description and we'll see if Jeremiah blows himself up. I don't know, but it's a good way to start consolidating these and, uh, and recycling these as well. I also use an alcohol stove from time to time. It's not one of these, it's like a cat can stove that uses alcohol to cook your food. I use heat. This is basically denatured alcohol. If you're going to use heat, make sure you get the yellow bottle. Uh, time to stock up on this. This is just about empty. Make sure you get new bottles for the year. Or if you want to, you can literally buy just a can of denatured alcohol. Walmart probably sells it. Your hardware store probably sells it. Make sure that your fuel stocks are ready to go for the season. Tent stakes. Whether you're staking down a rain fly for your, for your hammock, whether you're staking down your tent, now is the time to start looking at your tent. Your, your, your. Now is the time to start looking at your tent stakes. Are they cracked? Are they bent? Time to replace these now. Let's move on to hygiene. This is my poop kit. No, there's not poop in this kit. Make sure you got plenty of toilet paper in here now. And and most importantly, make sure make sure that your hand sanitizer is full. You don't want to head out on a big trip, do your business, and realize that your little hand sanitizer bottle is empty. It's time to refill this. Your medical kit. This last season, did you use band-aids? Did you use Luco tape for blisters? Did you use medication? Did you use a patch kit for your sleeping pad? Now is the time to start replacing those things. Make sure you're stocked up on your medical stuff, your band-aids, your medications, things like that. Tear tape, Luco tape. Make sure that your medical kit is ready to rock. That also goes for your ditty bag. If you carry things in here, like me, an extra lighter, make sure your extra lighter is not dead. This one's good. If you make fires, make sure you're replenishing your fire making things. And most importantly, if you have emergency chapstick like I do, make sure there's chapstick in here. Sleeping bags, top quilts, even down jackets. If you haven't washed any of these things yet and they need a washing, Start thinking about that now, because washing down is kind of a whole process. You, it, it's, it's, you gotta use a certain kind of detergent. There's a way to dry it to make sure that it locks up. Uh, so if you're one of them dirty sleepers and gets everything greasy, <laughs> now's the time to start looking at that. I always sleep in like tights and a shirt, so I don't really get my things grimy. But if you do, start looking at your Nick Wax, Nick Wax products, like your down wash. Uh, Cause it's very specific on how this needs to be washed and how it needs to be dried to make sure that your down is gonna loft up. So wash all your things now. Regarding treatment, like washing things, we're also coming into bug season. That means biting flies, black flies, mosquitoes, and worst off, ticks. Time to permethrin everything. This is a giant can made by Sawyer. This is something where you just hang all your stuff up on a clothesline spray it down, let it dry overnight, and it's good to go. They also have concentrated solutions of this where you can mix it up in a five gallon bucket, submerse everything, hang it, and let it dry. One thing to note though, permethrin in its liquid form is toxic to cats, but once dried, it's considered safe. The things you wanna think about, treating. Shoes, extremely important. Socks, extremely important. Any hiking pants, any hiking shorts, any hiking tights. Shirts, hats, gloves. The things that I don't treat, I don't treat my underwear because good luck for a tick getting all the way into that layer. I haven't felt the need to treat my tent or my hammock or my under quilts. Never had an issue with that. Just be sure when you're gonna do this, get out, 
just be sure when you're gonna treat everything, just be sure that you get out. Yeah. Just be sure that you coat everything effectively because this will last a whole season. Backpacking food. A lot of you, including myself, we eat these freeze-dried or dehydrated backpacking meals. They're nutritious and they're lightweight. Now these are a couple of the bigger companies out there. You know, there's Mountain House and Peak Refuel, obviously. Now's the time to start stocking up on these meals for the season. If you're like me, and a lot of you aren't like me, you may have a lot of these left over from last season. So ask yourself, why are they left over? Did you not take as many trips as you planned? Or are they meals that you really didn't want to eat? Me, I have a bunch of meals that I probably won't eat. So I should either donate them or sell them or do something with those because right now they're just taking up room. Stock the foods that you will actually eat now so that way you don't have to worry about it and buy last minute for the season. And it should go without saying, you know, check your backpacks, making sure those are in working order. If you have a hammock, check your suspension, make sure there's no big frays or rips in your suspension. You don't want to land on your butt in the middle of the night. And then make sure all your guy outs and ridge lines, all those don't have too big a phrase in them either. You want to make sure that you are set for the season. That way you do all the prep work now and then enjoy the rest of the time outside. These are some things you should think about for this year. Did you know about these things? Are some things you didn't think about? Do you have other ideas that I didn't mention that others could learn? Leave those suggestions down in the comment area. If you have any questions for me, leave those questions down in the comment area. If you haven't already, push subscribe right down there. It's free. Like this video, share it so some other people can get ready for the backpacking season. And if you're looking to support this channel, I have links down in the description of this video to where you can do that. Otherwise, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you listening to me ramble. Make sure all your gear is ready to rock and roll. That way you can hit the trail and have hella fun like I plan on doing. See you on the next one.